that is honestly the best segue that we've ever had on this show. Hey. <laughs> so let's go to Josh Bernstein. And uh, he is with us. He's got the, the T-shirt there. One? Dementia, you know the thing. And uh, <laughs> Josh Bernstein right, with us today. Start. So, Josh, um, I was sent some emails because I haven't... I haven't checked it today because I've been messing around with green screens and things today. But uh, I was given an email, uh, several emails this morning about, has have you seen Josh's show today? He is fired up. Uh, to quote the great Ron Simmons, damn. So <laughs> bring us up to speed on why you were fired up today. Well, I was fired up because uh, I am very worried about the election, to be quite honest. I know the polls are now starting to reflect President Trump's uh, bump yep. from the con uh, convention. Yep. But, you know, there's this organization out there uh, funded by Michael Bloomberg that is pouring millions and millions of dollars into mail-in voting fraud. And they even admit it in some respects, maybe not exactly come out and say it, but they basically say – that on election night, they expect President Trump to have a resounding victory. Yes. They I even give the amount. They said about 408 electoral votes to Joe's 130. But they said that after the mail-in voting comes in and is counted, that Joe Biden will then be the president. So um, I was a little heated when I read the article. And right afterwards, uh, I did the video. Uh, I still feel the same way yeah. that, you know, what they're trying to do is dangerous. They're trying to steal this election. And uh, at the so. end of the video, I give about eight or nine different things that we can do, including President Trump needs to do an executive order stating that all mail-in ballots must be counted and received prior to November 3rd. Yes. Seven days prior in yes. the video that I did. But even just getting them in before the election in order for them to count would be good. The other thing I said is that we need active duty police and off duty police officers to go to nursing homes and patrol nursing homes, to patrol homeless shelters, to patrol um, uh, social services and unemployment offices. You know, I just did a report a few days back on the fact that they go into nursing homes, okay? This is how sick twisted, evil, and sinister, and vile they are. They go into nursing homes, and they talk to the patients there, and they lie to them, and they say, Republicans just passed a bill today to cut your Social Security. Wow. So if you sign this right now, we can fight it, okay? These are what these sick animal bastards are doing. Holy okay? smokes. So you've got to take it serious. And uh, I amped up the level of, uh, shall we say, seriousness in my approach and in my show because if you watch it you'll see what i'm talking about it's uh it's really scary stuff that they're trying to do and how he could have a resounding victory and then they count votes for you know three or four weeks is sickening absolutely amazing uh josh bernstein with us today first of all i want to that's the thing I, I don't understand. Why don't we why isn't there a system in place to get the votes in ahead of time? Uh, you know, don't count them and all that. You don't have to do any of that. I mean just making sure that you have until a certain amount of time before there's a cutoff. Why isn't that in place already? Uh oh. You were so outraged your Skype dropped. <laughs> I've got you, my friend. Can you hear me? Okay. So, so, yeah, so a couple of states actually operate like that. Like yeah, because I, I just don't understand why we're not doing that. Yeah. I think Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and a bunch of others do the same thing. Arizona, another one. They actually operate where you have to have them in beforehand. Yeah. It's the other states that say as long as it's postmarked before the third, <laughs> that they'll wow. accept them afterwards. <laughs> So that's the problem. Wow. These states that are the problem. And again, you know, look, we know that these Democratic operatives that have talked to people have admitted what they do. 
You know, they go into yeah. homeless shelters and they offer them fifty, sixty dollars, whatever it it takes, drugs, yeah. money, beer, you know, pizza, whatever. You know, this is what they do, and they've been doing it for years. Why? Because their ideas are terrible, because their policies are disastrous, and nobody wants them. And so there's only one way they can win these elections, and that is to cheat. And that's what they've been doing. And it's, uh, you know, that's why President Trump has been sounding the alarm bell, saying that the 140 million votes, mail-in votes are out there. Even William Barr, to his credit, got upset with Wolf Blitzer a couple of days ago and said that this is dangerous territory that we are treading down. Uh, and then, of course, when, when uh, Hillary Kankel's McPants suit <laughs> goes out and says yes. that uh, <sighs> Joe Biden should not concede under any circumstances, well, she's already rigged one election. Yeah. She's probably trying to rig this one, too. Yeah. These people are demonic, evil, satanic people, okay? And they're not people. They're poor excuses for human beings. They are subhuman garbage. And that's what we're up against, unfortunately. We've got Josh Bernstein with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast. And uh, I just, I am absolutely amazed at, uh, at, at, this, at this year's election with all the craziness. And the, the thing that I've kind of got a suspicion, <laughs> and maybe you could back me up on this, but I have a suspicion that the election is Trump's going to win. But he's going to, the the Republicans are going to lose everything else. And it's going to be all the Democrats and then Trump as the president. Do you see that taking place? I, I mean, I don't know. Um, if you look at some of the primary victories, like especially in California, yeah. um, Republicans won. And in other states uh, where they haven't won or in other districts, that have been Democrat for many, many years. They actually won in special elections. Yeah. So I definitely think that um, the enthusiasm is certainly on the Republican side. There's no question about it. What I'm worried about are the idiots in uh, my state, and I'll say it, in Arizona, hmm. that actually are going to this demand McCarthy thing in which they are demanding this guy McCarthy who challenged and primaried Martha McSally and lost, and lost big, like, you know, 70 to 20, okay? It was like a, it was a beat down. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that McCarthy wasn't good, because honestly, in the primary, I voted for McCarthy over yeah. McSally, because I know McSally's not a strong Republican candidate. But the bottom line is, Mark Kelly is a Chinese bought and owned, you yes. know, communist, basically, yes. who wants to take away our guns. This is a guy so in bed with China that he rode around his little motorcycle with a Chinese flag on it, okay? So he's doing exactly what Kirsten Cinema did here in Arizona. They're running ads trying to be a moderate, right? This is what Kirsten Cinema did. Now, to her credit, she has voted with the president uh, a lot more than I thought she would. But this Mark Kelly is using the sympathy vote, of course, because, again, his, his wife is uh, Gabby Giffords. He was yeah. an astronaut, so he's trying to say that, oh, I'm not the politician, you know, I'm just a, you know, a moon bat astronaut Ooh. from Uranus <laughs> or wherever the hell he's from. That's so the bottom line is, is these morons, and I'll call them what they are, these conservative hell-bent, hell-raiser morons that are going to be so stupid that they're going to vote for this McCarthy guy, and I believe that Mark Kelly's going to win the Senate seat from McSally Oh, I don't know, try 10, 15, 18 points, the way it's looking right now. And that's why I've been sounding the alarm bells. Now, I've always said this, and I'll say it again. For the folks that disagree with me, understand this. I'm a political paid strategist. I know what I'm talking about. Yep. In the primary, you vote for the most conservative candidate you can possibly find on the ticket. And in this case, it was McCarthy. But McCarthy didn't win. So what do you do? You vote for the one that did. Why? Because if you don't, you're going to split the vote and you're going to yeah. allow a communist thug in Mark Kelly get elected. And we can't have that. I've always said the same thing. You cannot change the party from the outside looking in. You can only change the party from the inside looking out. Yes. Now, what do I mean by that? Very simple. 
you have uh, McSally win, and then you find another conservative alternative to run against her and primary her when she's up again if she doesn't hold the line on conservative values and vote with the president and isn't a rhino. That's how you win, okay? And so I am upset that in my state it is almost a foregone conclusion well, yeah. that Mark Kelly is going to smoke Martha McSally, and it will be for a couple of reasons, mainly because of the demand McCarthy uh, stupidity and also because she's not a very strong candidate, never has been and never will be. But I'll be voting for her. You can damn well bet that. Well, uh, two final topics here with uh, with Josh. Um, first, oh, your take on uh, this Pompeo situation. Pompeo did a, a speech from Israel. It's now under investigation by these House Democrats. Uh, what what in the world? What what what? Why, why did the Democrats instead of trying to find solutions to things <laughs> why do they constantly just we just got to butt heads with the republicans mainly because they haven't been in power they want to get back in power yeah. they hate the president so much they're willing to oh burn my God, down the country as we guy. clearly have seen yeah uh, they're allowing it to happen it's happening in their cities and then they're going to try to blame president trump for it but i think the american people are smarter than that they're they're awake they're awoke they understand what's going on and now you have this drunk, you know, brain freeze Pelosi running around <laughs> getting her hair done. <laughs> Meanwhile, these businesses are closed in California. She's not wearing a uh, face diaper either. No. And, uh, you know, then she's demanding an apology. What an egotistical, self-centered idiot. Okay? Think about it. She's demanding an apology because she was dumb enough to say rules for me and not for thee and then get caught yeah. And she's pissed that she got caught, and now she's she's blaming the person who she's completely shut down 60% of their business, could care less about the fact that she did that, or helped it, or believes in the same policies as Gruesome Newsome and yeah. uh, London Breed. And so there you have it. So now she got <laughs> caught with egg on her face, and she demands an apology. Yeah, right. These Man. people are sick and twisted and evil. This is not your Kennedy Democrat Party. And let's talk about that. Joe Kennedy ran against yep. Markey, right? Now, again, yep. this is a special situation. The guy's been there for 44 years. He's a statue, pretty much, in Taxachusetts. Oh, but he yeah. is very progressive. And we know that the Kennedys typically are not as progressive, although Ted was pretty progressive. Yeah. And so he ran against them and got absolutely slaughtered. So what does that tell you? That tells you that the old Kennedy Democrats are gone and buried. They're archaic. They yes. went like the dinosaurs. And what you have now is this radical, power-hungry, defund the police, Marxist ideology that is permeating through that party. And that's why I say that the entire party should be considered a terrorist organization because they finance and fund people that want to destroy this country. And I'll say it. We've got Josh Bernstein with us today, and as we wrap up here with you, Josh, let's talk about AMAC, and uh, let's also talk about the uh, the TV show coming up. But first, let's hit AMAC, my friend. Bring us up to speed yeah, on what they're doing. Association of Mature American Citizens, AMAC.us, awesome organization. Yep. The conservative alternative to AARP. A lot of folks don't realize that, that uh, there is another choice out there. You don't have to get stuck with the liberal organization, uh, AARP, there is a conservative alternative. So check them out at amac.us, or you can call them toll-free at 888-262-2006. Again, 888-262-2006. Tell them you heard about AMAC on the Jiggy Jaguar program, and they'll even give you a free one-year introductory membership just for mentioning my name. So check them out. Great organization run by incredible patriots that love this country yep. and want limited government. They don't want big top-down, government-centered solutions to health care. So uh, bring us up to speed on what you've got on the uh, the TV show and everything this week. Well, I've got more information on, uh, on Joe Biden uh, and the fact that uh, the cognitive decline is absolutely real. Um, there's an organization yeah. out there that actually uses uh, artificial intelligence to mask and mirror the... Um, conditions that Joe Biden 
is exhibiting and then puts it into this model in which you take their speeches from 2016 to 2020, put them in there, and then it gives you a readout, if you will, of where he is on the cognitive decline. Wow. So I'm dropping a video on that. That's going to be very interesting for folks. That is very interesting. We have got Josh Bernstein with us today. And Josh, thank you, sir. I always look forward to our chats. And uh, last week I got tied up with a damn refrigerator install, but over back this week. So, uh, Josh, I will talk to you soon. Have yourself a wonderful week, my friend. No problem. Get this to me and I'll drop it on Sunday. Yes, I will, my friend. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, brother. There he goes, Josh Bernstein. And uh, we are going to take a time out. And when we come back, we have got more coming up on the other side. It is the big broadcast, coast to coast. And bo-